PG-13, a monster line last night. 47 yeah, points, yeah. 12 rebounds, 10 assists, two steals to help lead OKC to a win over, yes, a pretty darn good Blazers yeah. team. Um, we've been talking. You cannot stop talking about this guy, mm -hmm. and it is time to start slotting in MVPs here. Where is he on your MVP ladder, Tracy? Does he move up? Two. He's up, on, up to two. He's number two. So who's number one for you? Still? Giannis. Giannis is still number two. Giannis came out the gates, and, you know, he's been playing consistently up until this point now. His team is number one in the East, best record in the league. So I, I got to stay with Giannis and what he was able to do for the Milwaukee Bucks. But Paul George, my goodness. For real. This is the best version of PG I've seen. I'm talking about even that PG that used to go against LeBron James mm -hmm. when he was in Indiana. I've never seen him play at this level, both ends. He's even really rubbed off on Russ, you know, to, to play better defense. PG, number two on my list. James Harden having a phenomenal year, but I can't forget about the beginning of the season with him. He's having a hell of a stretch right now. But man, PG. I can't, I can't dismiss what T-Mac is saying, but I got PG number three because okay. James Harden is on his historical run with Giannis number one, so I have James Harden. And then I put PG number three, but he did leap over Curry and Joel Embiid. You know, those two guys I had before him. He's taking an incredible leap for what he's doing offensively and defensively because the defensive stuff people don't really recognize when you mm -hmm. start talking about a guy who's running, going for MVP. We always just look at the numbers and the team, but defensively, he's the best two-way player in the game right now. Yeah. Well, so, all right, so, so one of those things where I always talk about, like, value, right? What's the overall value? I think if you're going to look at stats, net differentials always gives you the value, right? When the guy's on the court versus when the guy's off the court, how does his team do? So here is there the is. efficiency differential there for some notable stars this season, including the guys we're talking about in the MVP race. It's not the only stat. Mm -hmm. It is a stat, though, that means a lot. To me, this talks a lot about value and what happens when you are on and off the court. That's just crazy. Look at, yeah, look at how far awesome. above yes. everyone else Paul George is right now. And by the way, that's not this month. That's the total accumulation of this season. Mm. That's a very powerful, powerful sort of determiner. It has a great impact in, that, in this right? show. So, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy because when you look back at the MVPs, like Harden probably should have had three MVPs, but Russ had the triple-double. Mm -hmm. Curry had 73 right. wins. We're going to come across this like this year. Like Paul George, any other given year, he can win MVP with what he's doing. But you have so many guys having historical years based on these numbers, that, but we have to pay attention to them. Yeah. I mean, look, I like that Giannis, PG-13, a lot of these guys we're talking about as front runners play at both ends of the court. Yeah. Because there are both mm -hmm. ends of the court. And James Harden's defense, hey, by the way, James is has playing really, definitely improved. Yes. It is not yes. what we used to sort of show clips of and stuff. There is no question about it. He is not in the defensive player of the year conversation, though. I think Paul Those George who is. Are. Those I who think are. Giannis could be in that mm -hmm. voting. I think Joel Embiid's in that voting. So mm -hmm. I think I think that's sort of notable mm -hmm. about that as well.